Hello farmers, this is going to be a complete guide on oats. I'm going to tell you how to grow oats, I'm going to tell you how to harvest oats, and I'm going to tell you how to sell oats. If this video helps you, please remember to like it, and don't subscribe to me. So I'm going to show you how to get 100% yield bonus on all your crops, all the tools you need for it, and the order you need to use them. Alright, let's get to step one, you need to lime the thing. Alright, I got my liming machine here. It is uh, for in fertilizer spreaders, trailers, fertilizer spreaders, one, two, three, four, down, right there. I got this big boy, does the, uh, the lime and does fertilizer. Anyways, go ahead and get in and drive over to it. Go ahead and press B. Just start spreading that thing. And that's step one. I'll show you step two when I'm done. All right, next I got the uh, fertilizer sprayer here. I'll show you where it is. Uh, in fertilizer spray, first of all, fertilizer sprayers. You can buy this one for 25,000 uh, $25, bucks. It's good, it's got good width. You got this one, same width, but it just holds more. Um, it's definitely better than this one, which has crappy width, all right? But you need it for the lime. Anyways, get inside. And just like the other one, once you get up there, just press B, start spreading it. All right, the next step is mulching it. And uh, we bought this one here. It's in mulchers, which is in tools. I bought this one because it was the biggest one. I don't know anything else about it. <laughs> That's why I bought it. All right, we're going to turn it on, lower it. All right. We're mulching away, so we're just going to go ahead and mulch the whole field. Alright, next step is the plow. So we're going to go into purchase, but I got a tip for you. Don't use a plow. All the plows suck. Use a sub uh, subsoiler. Alright, I picked this one. This one get, also fertilizes it, but I didn't want to do that, so I bought that one. Alright, so when you look on your map, actually, when you see red, that means it needs to be plowed. If it's not red, then you don't have to plow it, and you can skip this step. And we're rolling. All right, the next step is totally up to you. There's obviously stones on the field. Uh, you can buy this stone picker-upper. Uh, let's go ahead and see where it is. Stone pickers. I got the big boy. Anyways, uh, this is totally up to you because it doesn't affect uh, the percentage of your yield bonus, but it stops your uh, tools from getting broken and that's all it does and i think it looks nicer so i do it anyway so just run the stone picker through if you want to check and see if you have any stones left over you'll see them these dots here and you'll know they're all gone when all the dots are gone all right next step is seeding i got my seeder right here this is a lovely one that also um, fertilizes so you can skip this fertilizer step but uh, where is cedars over here uh, cedars all right I believe it's this one all right fertilizes at the same time does the oats that you need all right let's plant some oats all right you got that unfolded lowered you got the fertilizer going and then you just press B to turn it on and we're outing all right All right, next we're gonna hit it with the roller. The roller is found in tools, right here beside the cedars, just three rows down. I got the big boy, got the big tractor for it too. So you can go into your map. Oops, saving. Okay, so go into your map. You see after you lay down the seed, it says needs rolling, so. Just press X to open up that uh, roller and roll away. All right, next step is weeding it. I got some weeds in here. I wait till the next day, let the let the crop grow a little bit. It also makes the uh, the weeds show up. Damn safe show up on the uh, map so you can see the green so all the weeds so at least i know i don't miss any spots all right so let's turn this thing on and go get them 
Oh yeah, I gotta talk about it, right? Yeah, I bought this weeder right there. Uh, four rows down, weeder. I bought the biggest one, bought the big boy. Uh, this one uh, also fertilizes, but I don't care because I fertilize with uh, my cedar. Make sure that you fertilize twice if uh, you don't have that. All right, lower it. All right, the oats are completely grown and it's time to harvest them. I got the biggest header I can buy on this thing and I got the biggest harvester you can get. I'll show you where to get both of them. Of course, you do not have to get the most expensive one. I just like to do that. All right, any one of these tractors will work. They're harvesters, you go into vehicles, right there and I bought the big boy all right this was more expensive but I didn't understand why um, and then you got to get yourself a header any one of these headers work as long as um, oats are here and oats right there and most of them if not all of them I grabbed the biggest one because why not all right let's just get in turn it on and start harvesting all right so I unfolded it and now I want to make sure to remind you to enable the, uh, the straw swath on the left hand corner you see in the controls the third last one enable straw swath which is um is comma all right and then you turn that on so make sure you have that because it lines up the, uh, the straw in a nice row so we're going to turn on the harvester and soon it should shoot out a nice row of straw there it is all right Okay, so I've completely harvested the field. I've already filled up the truck once. I got a little bit left to fill out. So I'm just going to pipe out. And fill it up like this. I know some people like to drive alongside the uh, harvester. I am not one of them. I just pipe out while it's standing still. Okay, when you harvest oats, you're going to be getting tons of uh, straw and you're gonna have to find a way to pick it up. The way I like to do it is with this forest harvester, all right? Uh, but you can get a baler. I'll show you where both are. Um, balers are right here. You can use it. Like any one of these balers will pick it up and turn it to any bales you want. I don't see a point to balers really because you can just pick it up with a forest harvester um, and then just transport it not in bales and then dump it and it's much easier in my opinion. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm gonna go ahead and get my forest harvester. I got a big one. Uh, did I show you where it was? I think I did, but uh, I'll show you again just in case. It's right here, and I bought this one, the biggest one, uh, the Stuart Man. And uh, you get, you can use any one. You can use this one too if you want, the cheapest one. It's up to you. Just probably have to make more trips than I will. So I'm just gonna bring it over. I'm gonna lower it with V, and then I'm going to turn it on with B. And you just have to drive right over the lines and it'll pick it up. All right, I'll see you again when I'm done. All right, so I have a full thing of straw. I'm gonna show you what you can do with it. You can give it to your cows. All right, so you just drive it in there and dump it into the cows. They need straw to make manure. And then you can give it to your pigs. All right, uh, I think you dump it in actually behind that thing yeah, right there. And that will also make you manure. You can give it to your horses. I don't have a horse pen right now, but you can give it to your horses as well. And then you can build one of these things, which store it. Um, I'll show you where you can build that. Uh, construction. And it is in silos, yeah. So that's why I, I put it in this thing, this hayloft. There's lots of other ones you can use. Um, but I like the looks of this one. Anyways, so you can put it in there, or you can sell it if you want to sell it. Um, you just go to this and they have hay here somewhere or straw I should say straw all right so the amul dealer or the uh, South Valley biomass energy sell it which I believe the animal dealer is right here yeah I'm sure in your map it could be uh, literally anywhere and I believe the biomass places somewhere in this area I know it's got to be around there somewhere um, but anyways Either way, I like to save it, so I always just throw it in here and uh, give it to my animals when they need it. Alright, so you got all the oats and you want to know what to do with them. Uh, there's a few animals that eat them, I will show you. I believe it's just horses. Yeah, horses eat oats and uh, nobody else does. No other animal eats it. So you're kind of left with just taking it to production places. So the first production place you can take it to 
is a grain mill. All right, so we're just going to head over to the grain mill right now. All right, so I'm at the grain mill. It can hold quite a lot of oats. Let's just go ahead and, and see. Uh, yeah, so it's got a lot of space for oats, so you can dump quite a lot of it in here. So I'm going to go in my truck, press I, and we're dumping some oats. That will turn into flour, and flour you can take to a bakery and turn into bread or cakes. Or just sell it for more money than the, you would get if you just sold the oats. Alright, the next place you can bring it is a cereal factory. I've built one right here. And it can take oats and turn into cereal, but you need corn, you need the raisins, you need honey. You need quite a few things, so I only dump a little bit of my oats here. Uh, just in case, you know, just so I'm ready when I get the other stuff. All right, so the last few things is just selling them, and I believe there's a cereal factory that buys them as well. So I'm just gonna go to, where is it? The cost, right there. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and find our, our oats. Here it is. A lot of places take it, cereal factories, grain, uh, feeding grain, uh, grain mills, Johnson's Farmer's Market, you can take it to any of these places. Um, best time to sell it is in December. All right. So that's all I can say about oats. If this video helped you, please like it. And don't subscribe to me if you like my content and want to support the channel. Uh, please consider getting a gift card uh, from Amazon in the description below. It's an affiliate link, though you don't have to buy the gift card. Just if you have to get somebody a gift. But if you buy anything from Amazon 24 hours after you click the link, uh, it supports the channel. And you give a little bit of money to me and less to Bezos. So that's a win-win. <laughs> Alright, if this video helped you again, liking it always is welcome and don't subscribe to me.